are everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Pirate. I'm your host Captain Ripped Rick and today we are going to get some revenge. Yeah, so I think uh, I think some revenge should be in order. Uh, if you guys don't remember last uh, a few episodes ago, we went ahead and got wrecked out here. This is our our, our death marker. Um, so I figured we'd go and get some payback today. But first, there's something we're gonna want to do. Uh, we're actually go actually gonna want to stay outside to start. At now that I think about it, uh, we're gonna come on over to our sugarcane farm or what what is our sugarcane farm currently. And we're gonna get as much of this stuff as possible, baby, because. We definitely need it. Now, uh, we're going to go across the uh, the pond there as well. I, there's some sugar cane over there. And uh, I don't really see much more uh, that we can take. But the idea is, is today we're going to be enchanting our armor um, and working on just having some nicer armor because there is armor that we are going to get that is part of Codemasters Pirates. But for now, we need to uh, gear up in order to fight the things that drop that armor so uh if that makes any sense it'd be like it'd be like uh, yeah you fight a mob it drops something uh that drop is gonna go ahead and let us make the armor once we can make that armor uh there's a whole new enchanting system and stuff it's actually very very interesting uh and i really look forward to 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 exploring it to be honest uh so we have 35 pieces of sugarcane now that will give us 35 pages divided by three is 10 so we'll get 10 books and we should get uh, three bookshelves. That's kind of crappy, isn't it? Um, well, no matter. Uh, what we will do is we'll... I, I swear we had... Didn't we have a ton of wood? Did we use it all making our... We used it all making our windmill, didn't we? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go collect some wood for you guys. Look at if I have an axe. I'm gonna go collect some wood for you guys. And, uh, and, and some more sugar cane as well. And I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so I was out collecting uh, some more sugar cane, as you guys can see. In my inventory, I have a lot more. I also did the uh, the wood for the trees. When it dawned on me that we may be able to go over to the village um, and and maybe borrow, you know, the old the old pirate borrow uh, some some uh, some bookcases. So we're gonna we're gonna head our way over there here in a second in our in our airship though, because I think that'll be a lot more fun than uh, than having to run the whole way. But like I said, I, I did find a lot more sugarcane, which is really nice. Um, but I think we're gonna leave our our, our little sugarcane farm that we have going right now about the same size because it doesn't really need to be much larger. We're not gonna be using the sugarcane uh, hopefully much more after we have our our whole enchanted set up uh, all good to go and if you didn't see in our valuables chest uh, we actually already have an enchanting table I believe we got one from I can't remember what it was but I I remember having it I think it might have been a, um, a lucky block but I'm not 100% sure on that but we did have one already uh, I'm sure you could check even previous videos and it would have been there because uh, yeah I, I mean that's 100% legit uh, I don't know why I would have to even say that but uh, yeah, I want you guys to know, like, I really do try my best to, to keep everything, like, to keep everything real. Like, you, so you guys see me go do stuff. You, you see, or you see that I do go and do stuff and, and all that good stuff. Uh, we actually need to go kill some cows, too. So let's hop on this air, on our airship. Uh, well, like I said, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave that paper there. It's fine. Uh, and let's, wait, do we have a bed? We don't have an extra bed. But I did collect some wood, so we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and hop up here. Hop, hop. Okay, and then like I said, I, I made an axe and stuff. Okay, we're gonna jump, right? Oh wait, do we even have to jump? No, we don't. Assemble ship, mount ship. Oh, let's go ahead and do this, huh? Now the town is that way. Oh man, it's already turning nighttime. Like right when I say, ah, we don't need to sleep. Oh, <sighs> I'll park the ship. Ow! Oh wow, that was really convenient. It is night. Look at the look at the sun. Look at the sun, now it's nighttime, right? Yeah, of course. And then we'll hop back up in the ship and we'll go. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, here, here. So yeah, we're gonna check if they have any books that we can we can uh, go ahead and borrow from them. Oh, yeah, we're going this way. Uh, don't hit the house, don't hit the house. No, 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 hopefully that didn't cause any damage. I think we hit it. Go, come on, go. Go, oh, you're going so slow. Why are you going so slow? Wait, why are we going down? Uh-oh. Are we too heavy because of something? 
Do we need wool, more wool in this? How do we go up? No, it's down. This is up. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, why would it sink us down right away? That is so weird. Huh. Well, I'll see you guys when we get over there. Okay, we are here. Uh, I don't know where we're going to park. we got to figure out a place to park. Wow, their crops look really good compared to ours. We may have to borrow those again sometime. Okay, let's go ahead and get this ship close to the ground. Hopefully, we don't crash into anything of theirs either. <gasps> oh, look at the lucky block. We have to go do that one, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and set this baby down nice and slow. Hopefully, we didn't worry them too much. That I don't know that they've seen flying contraptions before. They are in the middle of the desert, so. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Ow. Hopefully, she stays here. Uh, maybe, actually, I think we can we can we can actually settle her, right? Uh, yeah, and then disassemble. There we go. <gasps> Was I not supposed to do it like that? Wait, hey, let me make sure, sure. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. I was just making sure we weren't gonna be stuck. No, 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 no! Don't go anywhere, buddy. Okay, I was just making sure that um, I was just making sure we weren't gonna be stuck to that sand. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and check if we, they have any books that uh that, that they're willing to. Um, or what do they do at the library? They they. Hello. Um, this is super awkward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, I semi feel like locking them in there. I am going to because you know why? Because now they're safe. They're gonna be safe in here. Why are there so many of them? It's like a village party, dude. This is so weird. Why wasn't I invited? Oh, you know what it is? It's not a party. I feel bad now. They're scared of the ships, you guys. They saw some freaky UFO thing flying around, shooting laser beams and people flying out of them. And, and, <laughs> and they're hiding. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and now they're firing, we're firing guns just randomly. Okay, no problem. So I wanted to also uh, bring up the guns. You guys have suggested quite a few times that I add the Belkin's Weapon mod. Now, if you don't know the Belkin's Weapon mod, uh, for, for those of you that don't know, I should say, uh, it does add some cool weapons. I'm not going to lie. It is it is pretty awesome. Um, but the problem is, is that we already have the uh, the two the two one, like two main ones, which are our musket and our flintlock. Those are added in, uh, in Belkin's Weapons as well, I believe. So I don't really, I don't really see the point to add it. Uh, if somebody knows of a weapon that like is super important from there, I guess. But I don't know. Did we not take their smeltery? Maybe we didn't take all of their smelt. No, we didn't. What? I thought for sure we took some of their smeltery. Is there? Oh, if there was loot in there, I was gonna go crazy. I was gonna be like, how did we not take anything from these people? I mean, borrow forever. Okay, I'm not seeing any bookshelves. This is driving me. This is driving me mad. Like there, there should be some bookshelves, right? And they're usually in houses that look like um, one of the ones back there. No, that's not a house that would have it. See these these houses? I, they all look the same. I'm going crazy. I think the villagers are going crazy. Look at them all in here. <laughs> okay, whatever, dudes. Why are there so many Tinker's Construct houses? There's three of them. Wait, how did I get into this one? Oh, okay. I smashed the window. Wait. Hmm. Oh, there's there's a ladder up top, maybe. Maybe I jumped up top? I don't know. That's really weird. Uh, there's no bookcases here. We have to find more bookcases. You know what we'll do then? Then uh, on my fly back home, I will go ahead and collect any sugar cane if I see it. In fact, I should probably look over at their their water supplies uh, down, by the, down by the shore down here. Um, and I will be back with you guys when, when I... When I hopefully have enough sugar cane to, to get us some good enchanting. Oh, I was just on my way home and I forgot we were gonna do this lucky block. Ah! Pause, pause, pause. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go down. Okay, now what do we do? I mean, this if this is a bad lucky block, we lose a lot. So let's see if we have a chest in our inventory. This is still freaking me out that that it just won't. Why won't you just stay in one place? Oh, okay, we do have a chest in our inventory. Cool. Okay, so we'll just drop everything in there and then go do the lucky block because I am I am very worried about this. Uh, let's just go do that. Uh, yeah, let's go. There's 26 levels that we're gonna use for enchanting. Hopefully they don't go to waste. Ah! Oh! Another B 
weekend. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to buff up our 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 shelter here for. I mean, I know I know for a fact, you guys. I understand that we we are pirates, so we do have to get over the water here pretty soon. Um, but the beacon is still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and lift off again here. We're moving a little slower. Oh, I forgot the chest. What am I doing? Oh no, we gotta swing back around. Get out, get out, get out! Come on, come on, come on! Okay, wait. So I think I think it's because it's not getting me out because I'm I'm landing all the way on the ground when I do it. Ready? So what if I what if I'm above the ground just a little bit? Ready? I press shift. No! I'm gonna take damage every time this happens. Okay, let's take all of our stuff back. And this. Okay, I'll be with you guys when we're all set back at the house now. Okay, so here we are at the house. Obviously, I've already gone ahead and reorganized our inventory. We need to get rid of this beacon as well. See what I said? Second beacon. That is amazing. And I am. I uh, when I got off the ship, I suddenly realized that the chest. I was complaining that we didn't have one. Well, there was one attached to the ship the whole time, so uh, we we wouldn't have had to worry about it even then. Now let's go ahead and build our area for our enchantment table. Uh, obviously, I need to grab some leather for our bookcases, but we can still we can still decide exactly where we want it i don't think we want it upstairs uh i think downstairs is our best bet and we'll put it over here on this wall right here i think that'll look great uh so let me go kill some cows and we'll we'll go get some or uh, we'll, we'll uh we'll be ready to uh to get started now i think we're gonna go out at night i know we usually don't um but i do want to fight some mobs i want to get some more experience hopefully for us um so so if i run into anything peculiar i will go ahead and and, and show you guys that uh while, while we go hunt some cows down oh <gasps> there's a pirate with a cutlass oh look at that oh it's so cool to see <gasps> we got him nice oh ow okay i'll take care of these other guys here all right, so I'm on my way back home now. I did quite a bit of fighting and killed quite a few cows as well. Um, so the idea is is that I, I completely forgot that we added the mod last uh, the, the last few times to give ourselves leather um, from rotten zombie flesh. So we are going to go ahead and do that as well. Um, and hopefully we'll check our furnaces and see if we have any going already just so we can get some, some, uh, some books started. Now let's go ahead and check, like I said, these guys right here. I thought I left some in here. But maybe not. No, it looks like I was wrong. That's weird. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, let's go ahead and get our paper. And we will... Uh, here we go. Paper. Look for any more. Maybe uh, nothing. Okay. And we didn't have anything in that chest over there. Good. Good to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our, our books. Uh, we definitely have enough for more books, though. So let's go ahead and take this zombie flesh that we actually were fortunate enough to get. Oh, that's right. We have to do some stuff to it, right? We have to put it with sugar. Sugar is from sugar cane, right? So sugar, right? Is it like that? What else do we have to add? There we go. Um, sugar and bone meal. Okay, I didn't know that we had to have the bone meal as well. We have bone meal? Bone meal. Bones. Bones will make bone meal. Yay. Okay, now. Boom. 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 That'll give us a few more pieces at least. I know I dropped bone meal there. Don't tell me. It's okay. Shh. Okay, there. Bone meal, nice. Okay, now we can we'll dump off all this stuff here that we don't need. Uh, oh wait, why 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 didn't we make this? Oh yeah, because we didn't have any uh, extra sugar. That's right. Okay, yeah, we'll just get rid of all this this crap. Okay, that's good. And then uh, so we have some books now. We have our wood. Uh, let's go ahead and make half of it into planks, not all of it. And we will uh, we'll start our bookcases. Hopefully, Rawr. There we go. Look at that. We're, we're starting. We're starting. We're 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 slowly, slowly getting there, or at least it feels pretty slow. Okay, there we go, and then we can make uh, a few more books out of that. And there we go, that's our second piece. And now, if we put all these three, uh, and then just, that's as many books as we're going to be able to make today. Uh, but that's alright, I mean, it's a good start, like I said. Uh, and boom, boom. Awesome. Okay, now we have seven bookshelves, uh, so let's go ahead and set up our enchanting area. We'll also grab our enchanting table here, just so we can get it all good and going. Now you can see I have 29 levels, not near, not near 30. Uh, so we're not going to go out and try to get that, that that last level, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and set this up. So we'll do three, and then one, two, one, two for now. Uh, obviously, when we have more, we will use more. 
Um, and then what else? We're going to want to make some brand new armor. How much How much iron do we have? I, I remember us having quite a bit, right? Uh, yeah, that looks like quite a bit of iron. 34 ingots. So let's go ahead and tap that. And then do we have another another big basin? Yes, we do. Cool. Uh, so we're going to tap both of those. And that will give us 18, which is our close to our uh, 24 necessary in order to make our full set. I know we already have iron armor, um, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and and just pop these guys on in here if that is possible. Yeah, and melt them on down if 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 they will allow um, partially. No, it doesn't look very well. Okay. So we'll have to we'll have to maybe combine them with the, with the enchanted stuff further down the road once they're both a little bit beat up. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and drop these up in the valuables chest because we are going to want to have some nice armor in order to fight these guys. Actually, no valuables chest. Uh, tools chest. Uh, boom. We'll also get this, some of this crap out of our inventory that we just do not need. Like this. And, oh, uh, this as well. All this stuff. Uh, we have food. Okay, we have bullets. Uh, no arrows are needed. Okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, ooh, ooh, food too. We can drop this food off. Food is pretty, pretty valuable to be honest, but it's okay. Now let's go ahead and head back down here. And we'll take our iron and tap one more. And now let's make that into iron ingots and into our different pieces that we always use. Uh, to make our our armor now okay so the idea is is that obviously we don't have the maximum number of bookshelves in order in order to get our enchantment going to level 30 even so it wouldn't even matter um, but the chest plate is most important right so let's put 15 blast protection of breaking two amazing now we have 14 levels left we have um, three more pieces of arm to enchant so let's do five on this one blast protection unbreaking wow we are are gonna be okay from blasts apparently which is actually pretty good because one of the enemies that we're gonna go be going be going to fight i apologize we're gonna be going to fight is um is pirates and the pirates actually throw grenades so so it's probably a good thing we're getting a lot of blast protection because uh last time i checked grenades explode pretty pretty big so good thing okay let's go ahead and uh and 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 just throw some enchantments on this guy for uh blast protection again feather falling okay i guess that that'll do i mean creepers look out i guess right and then projectile protection i'm breaking one okay the unbreaking one is really nice and the unbreaking two on this guy is is really good as well now we should be fully set to go ahead and and fight uh these pirates let's make sure our guns are loaded no our bayonet was not that's why we check stuff like that um and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, take our boat, or not our boat, our airship, I apologize, Rick's Rusty Airship, named by Mikey Monkey, uh, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to fly this baby uh, over to, oh, did I need to assemble it? No, we're good. Okay. Um, we're going to fly this baby over to that shore, uh, just clearly this way because that's where the dot is that we got killed at. Um, and then we're going to park the ship on the shore and we're going to make a boat and we're going to go along the water here just because I don't really feel comfortable with um, with taking this guy out and trying to drop in on top of enemies. I know it's a, it's a tactical advantage, but I, I don't think it, it's going to be the best choice because I don't want to lose this airship and have it just float away on us, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to drop it at the shore and we're going to make ourselves some boats and, and get over there. Okay, and here we are. We're gonna keep keep it a little more calm now because we need to keep a level head if we are going to destroy everything that spawns over there. So let's go ahead and and, and bring this baby nice on down, nice and slowly here. Uh, while we do that, we can probably go ahead and align it, and then just keep going down. Hopefully, it will hold this aligned state um, while we get there. Okay, and we're gonna hit the ground, right, and then we're gonna go up one block. That looks about one back block, right? And then let's go ahead and disassemble. And there we go. Awesome. So hopefully we'll be able to get back up to this. In fact, let's make it so we can no matter what. Uh, that's probably a bad choice because it's just going to pull that uh, as soon as um, as soon as we try to fly away. So we can do this and then we'll jump up like that. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and create ourselves a... I, I thought we had a crafting table out here uh, so we could build boats already. But apparently we don't. Let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll make the Tinkers one, because it's just better to have all the time. And then we'll make ourselves a couple of boats. We'll circle these bigger boats, and hopefully we'll be able to teach them a little lesson uh, this time. Because last time, like I said, we got 
We got beat up pretty bad. Um, just take it nice and slow. Just mm -hmm. Now, if I remember, their spawners are invisible in the middle of the boat. Um, okay, we're not getting any spawns here. Okay, so so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and, and hop out here. Oh, no, not my boat! Okay, we're good. Um, and then we're going to grab our oak wood planks. We're going to swim on over. Please don't spawn. Uh, we're going to do this so that we have a way to jump up. And then there's usually a spawner here. I don't know what happened to this one. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have our some cucumbers, some uh, some extra gunshot, some gunpowder trail, which is really awesome. Pirate medallions. Pirate medallions are huge to have, if you guys don't know. Um, they will be used for uh, enchanting with that armor I was talking about that's even better than diamond armor. Let's go ahead and hop back into our little boat. You know what we should do, which would be really awesome, is if we just take one of these, right? We replace it with, uh, we, we replace their floor with the floating blocks floor, or, or the, uh, I mean, the, the air balloons from, from Archimedes ships, and we turn one of these babies into our own. Oh, do you think that would drive them mad? I think it would if we were cruising the ships with one of theirs, but we'll keep an eye out for maybe something a little bit better than that, because I don't think these ships are, are a good, worthy prize of a pirate like us, uh, even, even just a little dinghy like that. Now, let's keep our eyes open for things on the horizon and, and stuff like that. Where are all these pirates? Do they only spawn at night? I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and check. So, so like I said, there's usually a spawner here. Um, it may be that, that maybe the world was bugged at one point. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we're running some pirates, though, because I don't feel like I'm getting my revenge properly, and that's going to drive me even more mad. Hold on. Oh, wait. Why did our boat go all the way over there? Okay, I got our boat back. We're moving on to the next one. Come on, baby. Where are these pirates? I got to teach them a little lesson about killing me and, and making me walk the plank. This is ridiculous. There's one pirate with a cutlass. I think not. You shall die by my hand. There we go. Now we need, like I said, to get close. <clears throat> and we're going to hopefully be able to drop some wood planks here so that we can get on really quick okay we got to keep our eyes out oh okay okay there's the spawner this is the spawner i was talking about that, that that's kind of invisible i guess it's not invisible it looks like more of a pressure plate we'll back off of this guy because i bet he hits hard there we go we killed him uh, i love the drops that these guys give it contributes to our codes masters pirate which is absolutely amazing um because like i said remember the gears seemed kind of expensive and things like that uh it just helps now let's go ahead and hop on our boat again actually you know what we can do i have an idea we're gonna ruin these ships so that they can't they can't ever embark again i hope oh maybe i should check my inventory for something uh do we have any do we have any iron no i thought if we had iron and flint we could teach these guys a lesson and burn down their ships because they don't deserve to sail on these seas these are our seas and we need to teach them a lesson about it okay let's go ahead and make ourselves a, a bed i know that we shouldn't be sleeping on an enemy ship but it seems like the only option we have right now and there we go. We are back out on it. Come on. Why did my why does my boat always leave me? It's like it's like it's repulsed by us because it knows that we want a better boat. That's probably it, right? It's because we want a new boat and it's like you don't need me and it just keeps going away. <gasps> What's that over there? Is that another one of the ships? Let's take a look. We're going to travel this water just a tad bit. Um, because I would love to see some some new pirates to spawn. Maybe get some grenades thrown at us, huh? I think that would be nice. Oh, and we have a new pirate spawned. <gasps> He's got a grenade. Okay, we got to keep an eye out. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't he doesn't throw it at us. Okay, I'm gonna try. To oh, I missed the shot. Oh, he threw a grenade. Did you see him throw it at us? Oh, there's another one. No, I keep shooting. I I keep thinking I can aim for longer, but I can't. Oh, I keep missing. No, I keep missing. Okay, wait. What? What can I do? I can. I can make awkward planks, and then what we're gonna. Ow! 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 They're throwing. This is ridiculous. They blew up my boat. There's more of them. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna swim around to the to the bottom. We're gonna go under. Hopefully, they don't. They can't throw. Come on, no. Okay, sweet. Now this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna swim under their boat. Hopefully, we can hold our breath long enough to make it to the other side of their boat, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sneak attack them from behind. I am a pirate, so I shouldn't drown. We're good. Okay. Now, here we go. Ready? We are going to teach them a lesson that they'll not soon forget. Oh, 
Hopefully they don't notice us entering the boat from the behind. Okay, 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 okay. Careful, careful, nice and slow. I think I saw one maybe trying to come get us. Yes. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, okay. Oh, they're blowing each other up! <laughs> Stupid pirates! You're no match for me! Captain Rip Rick! Ow! Ow! Okay, you're a match! You're a match! Stop, stop, stop! Okay. No! Okay, so it seems like we've spawned back on this boat here. Now, remember, I said we weren't going to use it, but it looks like we're going to have to. There's a couple things we're going to need to make here in order to make sure that those pirates don't kill us again. Uh, only, only two or three things, though. We're going to need a, a total of, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what our good count would be, but let's go ahead and take down the main staff. There we go, and, uh, so that we uh, we have enough wood. Now, what we're going to make is we're going to make a boat so that we can get from place to place. We'll go ahead and do this. A boat. Nice. And then we're going to need to make a pickaxe so that we can, we can retrieve our grave and hopefully our items. And then finally, we're going to make a sword. Hopefully, I know it's not strong, but hopefully it holds up against these guys. Apparently, we just got our first achievement for a sword, which is kind of ridiculous. All right, and here we are back at the other pirates. They have they're here with bombs again. Oh no. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to get on the ship and hopefully destroy the spawner before it can give us any more grief here. Ow. Ow, that really does hurt. And we have blast protection, which is absolutely ridiculous. Let's break the spawner real quick. Come on, come on. No! Okay, no fooling around this time. Here's the plan. We're going to pull up with our boat, right? And then right when we get there, we're going to slap two pieces of oak wood so we can jump right on the deck and hopefully break out that spawner right away because there's no way that we're going to continue to die to these pirates. We are not going to settle. We are not going to allow them to kill us. And here we go, boys. We're pulling up on the ship now. Now, like I said, we're going to bail. We're going to put two up right away, and we're hopefully going to be able to break that spawner. Now, Right here and here. Okay, and... No! Ow, ow, ow. Okay, kill yourself, please. Okay, I think he fell off the ship. He didn't, but we can get this. Please, please. We got it. We got the spawner. Okay, now we just... Oh, sweet. Okay, so you guys, we got the spawner now. So hopefully no more will spawn. One more trip back over, and we should be able to take care of the pirates. They are ridiculously strong, though, as you saw. Uh, we need to worry about that. We, we should probably, or hopefully, we, we could gear up in some way. In order to make us a little bit stronger against that. Now, I do realize it's because we haven't really worked on any armor mods or anything like that, um, unfortunately. So I, I think that will uh, that will help if, if maybe I add an armor mod. If you guys know any good armor mods that will pair well with the pirate theme, please let me know in the comments section down below. I think that would help out a ton. Now, I'm going ahead and collecting all of our graves here. I don't know. Um... I don't know that we're worthy. No, there goes our pick. Please let us be able to swim to the bottom and pick it up. Let's go ahead and put our helmet and stuff on. We have respiration on this? Nope. Awesome. Uh, oh, there we got our pick, right? Now we're going to take some damage from, from being underwater here. Ow. Come on, baby, swim. Swim, baby, swim. Come on, we, we're captains. We can hold our breath for longer than this. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh that was close. Okay, so let's get to the boat. And let's collect our booty. Unfortunately, they didn't they didn't make it like we did. Okay, now, here's our pick. We lost our cutlass though. Oh no. We may have to make a new sword, which I'm okay with because that one, I'm gonna be honest, was not very strong. So let's go ahead and get some food inside of me first so that hopefully hopefully um we, we start to heal up here, and let's, let's see what they have in here. Another medallion. Awesome. So like I said, some, some great rewards here. Um, obviously, I wish we could do a little bit more than that, but but it'll have to do for now. Now, I did see a boat out here. Uh, yes, right over there. Uh, we're not going to that ship. I'm talking about our little boat here, and we're going to make our way back home for now because we've gotten a little bit of revenge on these pirates, but clearly we are still outmatched. We need to strengthen up, we need to armor up, and we need to... We need to come back and teach these guys a lesson about who to mess with because it's not us. We are kings of the sea and we shall we deserve to be treated like it. Remember what I said there's a there's a chest of the ship? I was right, there isn't one. I was thinking about it and I was like, that doesn't seem doesn't seem right, but now I know. 
Oh, I know for sure. Yeah. So we're gonna head home while this while the sun sets, you guys. And uh, we 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 next episode we need to get geared up. Um, unfortunately, we have run out of time. This episode has been a long time in recording, especially needing to go out and find a lot of things. So I do apologize. I hope you guys liked the episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. If you have ideas for the series or that suggestion on a new mod, a, a new armors mod that will add pirate themed armors, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I love love when you guys comment i love when you guys are active so keep that uh, great work up remember i do live stream on twitch if you want a more live interaction with me i would love that i love having new people on the stream uh let me say the word love one more time just because of love 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 and i'll see you guys later